What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Jedman 316 Custom YouTube channel. I'm your host, Jedman 316, your pop culture reporter. And welcome back to what's going to be a Blu-ray unboxing video. Specifically, this Indiana Jones Steelbook set. So we're going to take a look at the discs. I'll tell you about the special features. I'll show you the box art. We'll get into this goodies of this box here in a few minutes. But before we do that, give me a thumbs up on this video. Like it, please. After you do that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, big things coming in 2021. I want to grow this channel big. I'm going to showcase movies, movie reviews, everything I can do um, this year. Toy hunts, toy reviews, everything pop culture related. That's what we're going to do here. Then after you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell. You'll be the first to know when I post new videos. So let's crack open this Indiana Jones 4K box set. Let's go! So like I said, we're going to take a look at the uh, 4K box set for Indiana Jones. Um, I've heard a couple people, I was not able to find this, just the regular 4K box set anywhere locally, but it doesn't matter anyway. I wanted to buy the, I think it's Best Buy exclusive um, Steelbook because I know eventually that would be worth more money. Plus I know that eventually you'll be able to get the 4K set everywhere. So um, I got the 4K um, Ultra HD plus digital steelbook set from Best Buy. Let's go show you what the box art looks like. There's the front. There's the spine. Oops, I think I had it upside down. Can you guys see that? Here's the back. Now, there's a cover over that. I cut the plastic. So I'm not exactly sure what the back exactly looks like. This gives the details of each of the movie and I'm not gonna cut it. And then the top just has the logo on it. So we'll look at each individual one. Um, and like I said, I left the plastic on there and just cut it around the spine. So let's take a look at the first one. And it's just like they've always done. They renamed these. It's no longer just Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. So I'll keep this over here. And then we'll look at the individual ones and then I'll put them up here. So there's the first steel book and that's the front cover. And then the spine is pretty simplistic. And then here's the back. So that one obviously has the Ark of the Covenant on there. So then if you crack it open and I haven't redeemed my codes yet. So don't look at the, don't be looking for that. That's actually got the codes for all of them. So here's your disc artwork which like i said i like less is more it's pretty simplistic and then i'll pop the disc out and you can see it's got some really awesome inside cover artwork indy mary and the snake that's pretty cool if you ask me i like that so um that's pretty good set I'll display that one over here until we look at the next one. So obviously the next one is Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. So it's got the stones behind Indy there. Hopefully you can see that. That's pretty cool. And then the back, like the other one, had the arc. This has got the three stones. And then... the disc artwork in case that front cover didn't show there it is again and then I'll pop the disc out like I did the other one and then you can see this is pretty cool on the front I mean on the inside it's pretty neat so they got some really good um, artwork going on with these So there's the second one. And so now we got Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. You got Indy and you got the Holy Grail there. In the background. And then you got the Grail on the back. 
So similar, there's your disc artwork. Got the grail at the bottom. And then Andy and his father. This is one I think, you know, after watching Raiders so many times, this ended up becoming my favorite one of the series. That's pretty cool. They did a really good job with this. Kind of reminds me almost like a comic book. So there's the third one. And then we got one more. And then the box, if you can see, it actually has dividers in it for the discs so they don't rub together. So I really appreciate that they put that much detail on it. So there's the crystal skull in the background of this one. And then there's the skull on the back. Now this is two discs. You've got the regular disc for the movie. And then you've got the special features. And that's got him, the hat and the whip on there. So that's kind of cool. So and here's the inside. Now I liked certain aspects of this movie. But obviously the aliens in the ending ruined this movie for me. And then that totally unrealistic you know, shot of him surviving that blast in the refrigerator is kind of stupid but i do love the opening um scene where he's in the warehouse that's that's pretty neat so here's the fourth one i'm going to go ahead and start putting these back in the case um and then we'll talk about it so what do you think i think you know it's simplistic but uh less is more if you ask me so i really like the set were you able to find the regular one or did you have to do like me and get well, this is the one I wanted, but did you get the Best Buy 4K Steelbook set? Um, it's four really nice steelbooks in here. And like I said, then they go in, divide it up. And I think they did a really awesome job with this set. So uh, let me know what you think. Um, leave some comments below. Did you like this set? Um, I think, that, like I said, it did a really good job. I haven't read the list of the uh, special features, but it says on set with Raiders of Lost Ark, the making of... Uh, four Indiana Jones films, cast and creator interviews, and behind the scene peeks on all of them. And then, like I said, hopefully this will redeem in 4K. I've had some trouble with some of those, mostly with Universal, though. So um, I really do like the set. Like I said, leave some comments below. Let me know which one you got. If you liked it, if you watched it yet, well, how's the picture quality? And after you do all that, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll unveil uh, any other movies that I've purchased and I think are worthy of showcasing. Then after you do that, make sure you hit the notification bell. You'll be the first to know when I post those videos. So I uh, appreciate the support and thank you for coming back to uh, watch anything pop culture related that I post here. And this is Jeff Man 316 your pop culture reporter, signing out saying, you guys be safe out there.